Hello, Aternum, and welcome to KOTT News, Aternum's number one source for news. And this is the War Report. The influence of the corruption's ego was in full force last night as invasions, wars, and world PvP events were ongoing throughout the weekend. Ebenscale was bustling with activity after the late war last night as Elysian forces were able to quickly overcome the preservationists of Sea and Panda. Having fought in two wars that night, the wary combatants were anxious to soak in the healing hot springs of Ebenscale. Elysian leadership immediately began issuing medicinal herbs and teas to all faction members sturdy enough to venture to Ebenscale. As reported earlier in the week, world PvP opportunities in Eternum were high throughout this weekend. Especially around Brightwood Camp, where Primordis and Free Trade Company were holding things down. And along the Death Wall Road north of Morningdale, where torrential rain served as backdrop to torrential conflict. And though Regime has been reasonably tight-lipped about their plans for the Death Wall, the curiosity of Elysian will not go unsatiated. To close in on the mystery of the Death Wall surrounding the island, they must secure the northern outpost of Morningdale. Elsewhere on the island, Imperial Guard will try again to claim a southern shore, challenging for control of Cutlass Keys. Fresh off their warm-up war last night in First Light, they seek to try again tonight against the Church of Disrespect. The Church has remained diligent in exercising the corruption in their region while maintaining a fair tax rate. But when have marauders ever needed a reason to pillage a hamlet? Stay tuned after tonight's wars for reactions and commentary at 11. Until then, this has been War Correspondent John Chalant, KOTT News.